Yet again, testing. One, two, testing. One, two. Where are we looking? I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm not moving that much when I'm talking, but. Moving group. What's going on, y'all? It is your boy. Uh, it's been a minute. It's definitely been a minute. Um, a lot has happened. It's not a different same location as you potentially seen in my last videos. If you remember my last videos, which are still up. Um, my last video was November of last year, I want to say. Um, a lot has happened. I moved on with my girlfriend. We had some things happen, which were both good. Relationship's good. Love her to death. We just got back from vacation, actually. Um, but we both had just a lot happen at once. Everything that we thought 2020, the end of 2020 and the rest of 2021 was gonna be, it has been and has not been in so many ways. It's been a journey and I think we're both kind of growing through it still, but I mean, that's life, right? What can you do? There's no easy way to talk about why I've been going for so long, just because it's a mixture of personal battles with myself about what I want this channel to be. Personal battles on if I even care about YouTube enough to make a whole channel. Um, personal feelings on the state of the sneaker industry and I guess like the world in general but specifically I, I care about sneakers and well and video games and some other stuff but sneakers are like my thing it's, it's my job you know I work retail I, you know so It's just one of those things where you you get so close to something and you start seeing the blemishes, you know what I mean? So it's just kind of one of those weird situations where I had a lot of personal conversations with myself about where to go from my last couple of videos. And I guess at best, I'm gonna just do what I can do. That's all any of us really can do, I guess, especially with the state of the world is in. Uh, this video is specifically gonna be about any kind of sneakers. It's really just kind of like a, I guess of me holding myself accountable type video in a way, though I don't really know if, if that's really what to call it. I mean, it's kind of like an update, but it's not like I have like a bunch of followers. Like, I'm not sure if anybody who's even subscribed remembers that I make videos, which hopefully I'll be able to change soon. I have a really big unboxing that should be up. I'm shooting for, shooting for next week. I keep telling myself next week, but I'm actually going to shoot for next week this time. I'm just going to figure out something uh, but I, I need to thank some people for who have been here for this last year um, really and I mean specifically for folks who have helped kind of as far as my journey I don't want to say as like a cinematographer and I don't necessarily want to say as a YouTuber because I'm not sure if if it's like a journey as a YouTuber for me, it's. By myself, I've, I've done like four or five test videos tonight. On like, it's, it's midnight. 
I'm not gonna say what day. I'm gonna date this too badly. But it's midnight. And I've done multiple test videos. I didn't set up my big ass light I bought on Amazon. Like I bought, I got, a, I got a set of twin lights. I got a big ass like studio light. I bought a stand for the light. I got things that I wanna do. Um, so it's just a lot, but I wanna thank these people specifically. Um, Cordero who essentially is the only reason those last two videos ever went up um, for everything. And he knows what everything is. And if he doesn't know what everything is, he's capping. He's a liar. He knows what me and him have have been through as like brothers, as, as best friends, you know, even when it hasn't necessarily been easy to be friends. And even when Maybe we've been disappointed in each other, but that's never stopped us from supporting each other. Um, I love him a lot. That's really like, really my brother, man. Uh, for Dre, I will say in the past couple, in the past year, I haven't been doing anything on my channel, <laughs> but I have been on all of you Dre's channel, which God, every YouTuber, like points where like, they don't know what the cards or whatever it's gonna be. Cards gonna be up here if I can try to figure out how to do it. If not, obviously the link in the description. Uh, he's had me on the last two, two one of the, in the last set of videos he's put up, I'm in two of those. Um, and he could have asked any of his homies to be in those and he asked me and I truly appreciate it. And he's been asking me about my channel, what I'm gonna do and just, you know, words of encouragement, and I appreciate them. Uh, Taz, for never letting the idea of this channel die, no matter how much I tried to blow it off or found excuses or, you know, couldn't find time anytime I see her. It's much less now. She's modeling and working and feeling like she got a, a new job every time I see her. But I, I love Tass a lot, and I appreciate her for not letting this YouTube thing kind of fall by the wayside, at least as far as it falling by the wayside in my head. Uh, that's the homie. Uh, Shauna, who is my, my lady's older sister, who, in so many ways that she probably doesn't realize has changed my life completely because she's the one who put us together. Well, I won't say, she kind of made like a matchmaking thing whenever I was in a bad spot. Again, that's not for this video. But, um, Shauna doesn't know how much she means to me and how much she has changed my life for the better for bringing the next person into my life, which is the love of my life, my girlfriend, uh, who has been nothing but supportive and for being herself and for being just everything. Um, just a lot, you know? Just, I, I don't really have the words to say. And I'm trying to make this too long, so, but a lot of loving things go up to them. And then my, these are the only people I can think of right now, but my mother and my, my pops and my dad, my pops is, you know, my biological father. My dad is my stepdad who, you know, uh, when my mom and, and him were still together, um, for everything that they've done for me, um, just as far as helping me become who I am, um, you don't really realize until you start growing up and trying to be on your own and trying to move as like what you think is an adult, you don't really realize how many of those things are 
are influenced by your parents and the good things and the bad things, you know, the the, the traumas and the, the positive memory. There should be like a good word for like, like opposite of trauma. Maybe I'm not smart enough for that. I don't know, I dropped out, so. Um, <laughs> but just, there's so many things that I, I mean, everybody would be a different person didn't have their parents, but I'm just so appreciative of the people that I had growing up that kind of, for everything they did, helped me see, okay, I should move this way or I shouldn't move this way or I'll try to do it this way because I saw it done like that and maybe that way was cool, but it wasn't how I thought it should be done. Um, but yeah, just all those people I just named uh, and the many, many other people in the last, you know, You know, <laughs> uh, for Steven, that's the homie. For uh, my my guys at work, because my job is, is low key a sausage fest now. Because a lot of the ladies, uh, you know, moved on to better positions, or you know, left for better opportunities. Whatever. Much love to all of them as well. But my guys who I work with basically every day, y'all know who we all are. I love y'all to death. I appreciate y'all. Um, my store manager, who has been uh, instrumental in me kind of understanding, you know, not necessarily professionalism, because I feel like I already kind of had a handle on that because of like how I started working, because I worked under my pops for my very first job. But as far as understanding how to move, as far as trying to run a business and how you treat people and how to be fair and how to be petty at the same time uh, if, if you gotta be because sometimes people will try to pull some shit on you but um, yeah and to anybody who's said anything positive to me about YouTube or me doing something on Instagram for Cordrell uh, I, your local Weatherman Giannano could be here. So it, it's kind of one of those things where I just appreciate everything. Um, it's all been instrumental in me trying to figure this all out again and figure out how I'm gonna approach it. So the goal is to stop trying to figuring and just, you know, you always, you always be like, oh, I'm finna do something and now I just, need to do it so that's the goal um, if you watch for this whole thing I appreciate you as well um, and we're just gonna keep it moving I will see you very very soon